everything I'm here to tear got me starving through the interstate yeah. Run away from the past and the nonsense Tired up Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can actually edit like a pro in DaVinci Resolve. So, obviously, first what you're going to do is just get a clip. So, I have Culture's clip right here. It's a pretty good clip. It's, it's an old clip though. So, just try using a newer clip. Uh, make the playback uh, quarter resolution. That makes everything way smoother. And then, as you can see here, when the numbers first pop up right here, it's not very you can't see it that well but I think it's like barely visible right here and uh his siphon also shows so just make sure to add a marker where the numbers first pop up and then what you're gonna want to do is just click ctrl r on your keyboard and unlink the clips and then add a speed point on the kill go 20 frames back so since it's at 34 right now 34 minus 20 would be 14 so right here add a speed point and uh, go directly in the middle so that would be right here add a speed point and now put the first speed at 50 and then put the second speed at 200 and then go one frame in front of the last speed point and then drag the last speed point so it's as long as it so just play around with it a bit it's like sometimes it doesn't want to do it but there we go that's good enough and then now just drag this all the way back all right so now make the last speed 50 so uh just drag this out a bit and then drag this all the way back right here then 50. Alright, so this is nice and smooth. I like it. Maybe uh, change it up a bit, but this is one of my favorite ones. It skips over the kill a bit, but not too much. And uh, make this just as short as the audio clip. And now I'm going to show you the best impact for your montage. So. Make sure the kill part is only 60 frames, so this is at 34 right now. Make sure it goes to the last 34. So I'm actually gonna play it all the way to the next 34. So, the next 34 is right here, so I'm just gonna do that. Alright, so now, add an adjustment clip over top of the kill. And, uh, trim it down to as long as the clip is, right here. And uh, I'm going to the fusion tab, and here's where I'm actually going to drop my free presets from my edit pack. Make sure to go check that out. Obviously, the link will be in the description. Uh, let me just go grab that real quick in my file explorer. So right now, I am actually in my impact folder, and I have a bun, butt ton of heat. like there's so, there are like over 20 impacts in here. They're all in my edit pack, and it's completely free. So make sure to go check that out. So I'm just gonna get uh, the. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just get a simple flicker impact. Maybe you could add a glint if you want. Uh, right here comes two shakes and a flicker, as you can see. So just connect everything. And uh, yeah, make sure that everything loads in. And uh, I'm actually gonna take away the, the X shake because a lot of times it's not even important. And put the red amplitude in the channels tab to 2 so it adds a bit of rgb actually not 1.5 1.5 seems right and uh here maybe make make this maybe like 0.5 or 0.6 then go 10 frames in front as you can see it's already keyframe for you and yeah just it's a nice y shake and then this also nice flicker uh Hopefully it loads in the adjustment clip. I don't think so because adjustment clips take a while to load. So as you can see, yeah, it's, it's gonna lag a lot. So it's a nice Y shake. I really like it. And uh, now what you're gonna want to do is get another clip. Right here I have Brady's clip. And uh... Yeah, just drag it right next to it, and then trim it down to like the where the actual kill happens. So, right, 
so as you can see right here is the clip so let me just look where the numbers first pop up so as you can see right here you can't really see too well but these things right here are actually the numbers so i'm just gonna add a marker on it and uh find the second beat drop of the song From the past and the nonsense. right here seems to be the second beat drop so i'm just gonna add a marker it doesn't have to be perfect and uh now just make sure everything lines up so just put this like that make sure it lines up with the song marker and From the past the nonsense, so as you can see it lines up perfectly and uh do just do like the same velocity so just add a speed point go 20 frames back add another speed point and then go in the middle at a speed point change this speed to 50 change this speed to 200 and one frame in front drag it and then just drag this all the way back and then make the last one as always 50 the clip needs to have slow-mo at the end and uh i'll just look at it again and yeah it's it's a really good clip and uh I'm just gonna make the kill part only 60 frames. That's really all you need. And here I'm actually gonna show off one of my buildups. So add another adjustment clip if it loads. Yeah. So make sure to add it in the beginning because for buildups it's a lot different. So here, what you're gonna want to do is go obviously into the fusion tab, and I'm just gonna like grab another uh, buildup from my edit pack. So I'll see you when I get it. So I have like 10 buildups in here for my edit pack and I'm just gonna do the insane zoom out buildup. This is honestly like the best buildup there is. Like just for zooming out, it's, it's really good. Maybe you could delete or you could uh, delete the quad tone because the quad tone is like more for over edits. So yeah, just make sure to delete that. And on the last frame right here, add a marker and uh make sure that marker lines up with uh with the kill so as you can see it looks really cool it's like a mirror look at that and then it zooms out and then it zooms back in it is honestly the best build up there is for dimension resolve like it is honestly it's it's just so good like i'm, I'm just i keep on sucking off my own presets but it is honestly insane. So make sure to just cut it to where the marker is. Uh, I'm gonna just play it again. And right here, I'm actually gonna drop another one of my impacts. So obviously make sure to add the adjustment clip over top and then make it as long as the, the kill. And then here, I'm also gonna drop another one of my presets in my edit pack. So it's an impacts. And here, I'm just gonna do the there's just so many to choose from, bro. Uh, I think... Oh. Hmm, there, bro, there's so many. Uh, where is it? Blue Glow Blur Plus Impact, why not? This one uh, requires uh, BCC plugins uh, uh, and Sapphire plugins. So yeah, make sure to go pick those up. And uh, even without the the BCC plugins as you can see it still looks really good just uh, make sure the brightness of the of the S underscore glow is somewhere that you feel like it's is appropriate so uh, yeah make sure it loads back and right here I'm just gonna make the brightness like maybe like one yeah it looks pretty nice and then for the S underscore shake uh, it's already keyframed and then Go to the end and keyframe it at zero, uh, and then keyframe the Z distance to one. And then for the second shake, I'm actually gonna change the amplitude to 0.5. And then 10 frames in front, it's already keyframed for you. And then the glow, go to the end and then keyframe it at zero. And then for the lens blur, go to around the middle. Yeah, as you can see, it's already keyframed. And then just keyframe it at zero. So now 
here's what we have. I'm actually just gonna go frame by frame because it's gonna lag a lot. And uh, yeah, now it's time to show you transitions and my color correction. So I'm gonna first show uh, a good transition that you should use. So make sure to put the adjustment clip over like the beginning of everything and then go into the fusion tab. And then here, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously again, go into here, into my editing pack. And I'm just gonna find transitions. There are 10 of these, they're all really good. Uh, I'm just gonna do the zoom out. That's a very good one. It's zoom in and zoom out are honestly my personal favorites. Go to the second keyframe, add a marker, and then obviously shorten it, like real short, like just around right there. And then make it go in between both clips. So now just drag this up a lot. And then, yeah, as you can see, let me just go frame by frame. Yeah, it does a nice little zoom out. It's I love this transition. It's actually very nice. And uh, now time to show last but most certainly not least my color correction. This is where you're going to want to have magic bullet looks. So, uh, go into the search tab and type in looks. Shit, I spelled it wrong. And then put it on one clip. And uh, here what you're going to want to do is go into edit look. And here is where you're going to either want to just get one of my presets or just make your own. So, I usually just use uh, the new Sexy CC, it's it's really nice, Dying, you can already tell that name. Uh, but, I'm actually going to teach you how you can make your own presets, so you're going to want to have the hue sat, uh, curves, and maybe, just maybe, you might want to have LUT. So, curves, this is obviously all personal preference, so uh, for the curves, you're gonna wanna either make it light, brighter, or darker. So I, I usually tend to have it darker. And for LUT, just like look around these. It's really like not too important. Uh, just look around it. Like I said before, it's personal preference. So this one looks pretty nice. Maybe I'm low. Now nah, it looks ass. So I'm gonna use Dade. And then make the strength 50, because not too hard, not too soft. As you can see, it adds a bit of like more cool vibe. And then for the huge slash sat, like the saturation, just play around with it. Sometimes you want to have it high, sometimes you want to have it lower. Uh, I'm just going to keep it at like 120. So, uh, yeah, that's the color correction. It does look fairly nice, I will say. And uh, go back into the edit look tab. And if you actually want to save a preset uh, to your looks, just make sure to go down here and then just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do new tut uh, look. Save it and then as you can see now, you just add looks into another clip and then you should have it. If you don't have it, then something's honestly fucked with your PC because if you don't have it, then I don't know what went on. So as you can see right here, I have new tilt look, and yeah, it, as you can see, it just looks way different, looks way nicer, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for the tutorial for today. Make sure to drop a like, check out my edit pack, and obviously, if you're new, subscribe. Peace.